We've got another major driver announcement in the Super Dirt Late Model world. Coleman Farms Racing announced that they have parted ways with Ethan Dotson. Before we get into this, I'd like to ask you, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos here at John Trent Racing. This is just within the last hour. Coleman Farms Racing posted this on Facebook. Uh, it says, Coleman Farms Racing and Ethan Dotson have mutually agreed to part ways. Ethan is an amazing talent. And it was an honor to celebrate our wins with him. Wherever he lands, I'm sure he'll be incredibly successful. We wish him the absolute best in 2024 and beyond. Dotson has not posted anything on his Facebook. Obviously, the uh, most recent post uh, was from November 14, 2023. So I'm not sure if we will be seeing anything uh, from him on this Facebook page. However, if we do go over to uh, my race pass here. Uh, we will see that uh, he, he ran pretty well at the beginning of the season. I uh, was in 17 features, had one win, one top five, and seven top tens. Obviously, had a really good start uh, there for the World of Outlaws at Volusia Speedway Park on January 19th, finishing in sixth in the feature. However, faded uh, the next night uh, to 21st. Uh, then <clears throat> with the, um, I went to Golden Isles, uh, did really well in uh, hot laps, group two, finished first, uh, won, won the hot laps there in, in group two, and then um, ninth at Golden Isles, uh, and then sixth again in the B main two, and then uh, I guess ninth in the B main two there. Um, he won. Let's see, I gotta we gotta go down here a little bit ways. I think he won at Waycross. I believe I must have passed there. It is, yep, February 29th. He won at uh, Waycross. He was uh, primarily racing, uh, I feel like the past couple of weeks in the um, spring nationals. Um, obviously, uh, I 75, he finished 11th. Uh, Taswell finished 10th buckshot had a DNF finishing 22nd. And then, uh, at East Alabama, he finished in ninth, uh, this past Saturday. So as for who is going to be filling that seat, we do have some information. It is, uh, from racing Jason over here on X. He posted the uh, screenshot from Coleman farms, his Facebook page. Uh, and then when he was asked or when he was informed by the name is slinky TJ, over here on X saying Huddy's new ride for the rest of the season. Racing Jason says, that's what I was told. I know Racing Jason uh, can play coy sometimes, obviously, especially with uh, him kind of breaking a lot of that information about Hudson O'Neill earlier this year. So I asked him, are you being serious here? Or dot, dot, dot question. And he was like, this is real. So uh, we'll see what happens. But Racing Jason is saying that Hudson O'Neill uh, could be the person to fill that ride. Uh, we do know that Hudson O'Neill uh, would be potentially looking for a ride after this weekend. This is over at Flow Racing, their big um, expose on Hudson leaving the Rocket One team and uh, putting together a deal with uh, Kevin Rumley to run the number 71 Longhorn. And uh, that deal, I think, was going to expire after this past weekend. You can see here, it says teaming with Rumley for the interim. The latter isn't an issue, though. It was initially announced that O'Neill's only paired up with the China Grove, North Carolina engineer for this weekend at Brownstown and Atomic. The duo will also race March 2930s Schaefer's Spring Nationals at I-75 Raceway and Taswell Speedway in Tennessee. The weekend after, he'll stay in the Volunteer State for April 5-6's XR Super Series event at Volunteer Speedway, paying 30000 to win for the Saturday night finale. And then Hudson said, after that, it's a coin toss. We're still working on it. I've had communication with some teams. I think we know the direction we're going. We just have to put all the pieces together and see what happens. Nonetheless, I'm really excited for these couple weeks with Kevin to learn these race cars a little bit. It's a new challenge for me. Sometimes it's good to have new challenges. So uh, we'll see what happens with Hudson O'Neill. Obviously, um, given the fact that uh, they had only kind of scheduled out races for him, through April 5th and 6th. One would have expected that this would be the week where we might either see him extend that deal with uh, with Rumley or potentially find a uh, new ride. Uh, he did say he knew the direction he was going, and we'll see if it is with uh, Coltman Farms Racing and taking um, that, that spot that uh, Ethan Dotson uh, had. But uh, let me know what you guys make of Coltman Farms Racing separating from Ethan Dotson and... This uh, rumor that we've got going on that uh, Hudson O'Neill is going to be filling that seat. Let me know in the comments below.